I think this case really illustrates one of the great utilities of MR, and that's in evaluating abnormalities of the female genital urinary tract, particularly congenital abnormalities. Anytime you're dealing with a woman who has any kind of a congenital uterine anomaly, things like bicornuate uterus, a septate uterus, an arcuate uterus, or a didelphus, MR is really going to be the test of choice. It's going to give you detail that you're ne just not going to be able to appreciate either on ultrasound or on a CT scan. Now, in this example, notice how the patient has two widely divergent uterine horns and, in fact, has two separated uterine horns with two separate uterine services. This is a patient who doesn't have a bicornuate uterus or a septate uterus. This is actually a uterine didelphus, and you should be able to make a specific diagnosis based on the MR images.